and so we were really just looking into different property courses pro what could we do and then you suddenly appeared and I was I just said okay, this is what we're going to do you know it just made sense so we've now signed three deals it is really nerving because it's it's completely new you know um, territory you know what sort of revenue you know do you think you might be able to achieve from those three deals Marina how's it going really good it's always, a, it's, always a, it's always a funny old one when you've not met somebody in person. Yeah, and then... but I feel like I know you. Proper. Yeah. Proper. So, um, yeah. So um, talk to us, like, tell us a little bit about you and what you were doing before property. Yeah, so I'm a contract manager. So work full time, quite a busy job. Um, myself and my partner, Kate, she already has some buy to let properties. So I've helped manage those properties over the last few years. And it was about what can we do to get quicker cash flow? Because buy to let's obviously a long, long term gain. Um, and we were really just looking into, you know, all the sort of different property courses. Pro what could we do? And then you suddenly appeared on our socials. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, had you heard of rent to rent before that? No. Wow. So what 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 did that do? Yeah, in, I mean, because before I. I was like, deal sourcing, we can do deal sourcing. This is going to be a really good way to get into it. And then rent to rent and I was just, it just fell into place. I was like, yes, this doesn't need too much in, you know, outgoings at the beginning with what the money we had meant we could do quite a few of them. Um, and I was, I just said, okay, this is what we're going to do. You know, it just made sense. Instantly, yeah, for me, instantly. So, did, what what happened? We booked a call, and you pretty much just got started pretty quick, did you? Yeah. So I I booked a call. Um, we had a quick discussion. I then joined that evening. Um, I don't think Kate could join that initial call, but we went through it, and she was like, "Yeah, if you think it's going to work, then we'll do it." Perfect. Perfect. So f fast forward on now. Where where are you at in your property journey? So we've now signed three deals. Um, so we, we did join up in March, but April I was away for work. So really it's sort of from May. So we've, we've got three deals, which, are, you know, is fantastic, I think. Mm -hmm. One's not going live until August. Um, second property, we're just doing the refurb now. Um, and the first property has been live two weeks. So it is wow. a lot in a short space of time. Wow, yeah, and I know it's, been, it's gone really fast, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So at the moment, like, like we're kind of working on the systems and the cash flow, Kate's in the yeah. property, getting the next one ready, yeah, and, yeah. you know, um, it's, all, it's all go. So, you know, before you, it, it sounds to me like the penny dropped, and but even though the penny drops, there's still surely a part of you that's like unsure or sceptical or, or not sure. Like, what was your doubts at the time and how did you overcome them? Well, I guess my initial doubts were that it wasn't my, they weren't my funds, so I had to be you know, mindful of that, that it was Kate's money mm -hmm. um, with my input, obviously, to make this work. Um, and the only downside I could see was, OK, we might have to pay the rent for a bit mm. you know, while we set it up, while we get it systemized. Um, but I just thought other people are doing it. You know, you've done it, you've got all these properties and then obviously joining the calls, you hear about all the success stories. I thought if they can do it, we can. Sure. You know. I mean, we're, so we're live at uh, the client retreat at the moment. Um, we did a little mastermind earlier and it, it was crazy to see how many deals are in the room. How, yeah. how, how did that make you feel? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's great. You see the successes, which is what you need to see, because sometimes, you know, with your program, you don't feel alone, though. Yes, you are doing your properties yourself, but there is always this huge support network. And meeting these people that you've seen on zoom calls you, you really feel like you know them um, and so the network in here is really easy and it was great to see how people have progressed and in you know what space of time as well yeah p perfect there's some good chats just then yeah like, uh, emily and robin that's like, absolutely crushing it. yeah i mean less than a year <laughs> mental <laughs> just mental um 60 grand of revenue in 11 months yeah. from starting so I, i'm 100 percent sure that that's next for you so just for anybody watching that you know it's a struggle at the beginning in terms of mindset like even when you're in like it's still a bit nervy when you're having yeah. the first conversations you're doing the first viewings and stuff how, how was that experience for you 
it is really nerving because it's it's completely new you know um, territory mm. um i think as you know once i think kate was fully on board mm. it obviously changed dramatically mm. you know i was already on board we were getting the view ins kate was still is this really going to work and then i think you helped shift her mindset mm. and since then like we said we've got these three deals unbelievable um, so I know that the, it's still quite fresh, yeah. uh, but projections wise, you know, what sort of revenue, you know, do you think you might be able to achieve from those three deals? Um, we're hoping that these three deals can make us between, especially this second property, I think is really looking positive between five and 10 K a month. Net. Yeah. So probably 15, 20 gross revenue, which means you're probably going to join the first class sooner rather than later. <laughs> That'd be lovely. <laughs> which, which, would, which would be good. Um, and yeah, just to sort of wrap up then. So what, you know, what's your goal? Obviously, you, you, you know, you're currently uh, working. Like, where do you see yourself in 12 months? What's next for you and Kate? It's more of the same. So Kate is obviously given, she's given notice for her job, mm. which makes us, you know, has that more impetus of getting, making this work. I'm quite happy in my job, but obviously the aim would be to me, for me to stop as well and focus on this full time with the view then of doing a BRR. Um, you know, I said, we've got the buy to let's, but something else. But I think this is just a really good way of getting into another property um, area that I think is, you know, it doesn't matter whether you think your market is saturated as well. You've just got to do the best that you can do. I'm not sure if we touched your location. Where, whereabouts are you doing your deals? Uh, I mean, we're in Warwickshire. Yeah, so exactly. we've currently got the two properties in Coventry and the third one is in Leamington Spa. So um, we've got quite a good, I think, radius, yeah. good magnets. Um, and just through those three deals, we've already got other landlords coming to us or the current landlord saying her sister's got properties. The decorator has come to us and said he's got property. You know, they're really interested in what we're doing. Wow. And so, you know, we're just like, okay, let's hang on. Let's, uh. Perfect. So in terms of challenges, what, what's going on now? Is there anything I can help you with live <laughs> on camera right now whilst we're getting the chance to chat? Like, what's going on? Well, I guess we, we talked about the, you know, the challenges of guests, yeah. which is always going to be a challenge. You, you never really can know who's going to mm. be in your property. So you've just got to remember it's a business. It's not your own property. Um, but I think the help with this, you know, systemizing it as we go forward, sure. that's going to be the key because at the moment well, I work full time, but I'm doing all this as well. You know, I, I do all the admin, mm -hmm. I do all the bookings, I do um, all this work. Kate does all the, the properties, you know, we she furnishes them, she designs them. Yeah. Um, so we have our strengths, which are great working together, but it's going to be how can we do less in the end? Sure. Yeah. So I think over the, over the coming weeks, we'll get everything systemized as yeah. automated as possible. Make sure you're taking deposits, get some yeah. ad additional vetting for those tenants so that you don't, you know, or you minimize the chances of, of issues at yeah. the property. Um, and final thought from you, if somebody's watching this, they're not sure whether this is real, they're not sure if it's saturated, it's too late. What, what would you say to them? It's not too late. It's, you know, we did think that we said it. Are there too many people already in this market but if you if you look at them they are all booked you know there is still a need for people to stay short term um, and if you just follow the process and trust the process that you set out it will work uh, you know i'm completely confident in that perfect well thank you very much for your time and we'll speak thank to you soon thank you